All right, Trigos, what's happening? So here it is. Here is my all-time best 11 Barnet team. Now, I've been watching Barnet since 1996. So this is my all-time starting 11 in the positions. We go with a 4-4-2. So no mucking about. We go straight in with a goalkeeper. Now, we've had some very good goalkeepers over the years. So this was very tough for me to pick. And it is a very hard position to nail down. They are your last line of defence. So for me, I've gone with Lee Harrison. Now, Lee started off with Cholton Athletic, but unfortunately never made the first team appearance before moving on to Fulham. He joined Barnet in 1996 where he made 233 appearances between 1996 and 2003 and Lee was Barnet's player of the season three seasons on the trot. That's some achievement especially for a goalkeeper. Lee left Barnet for Leighton Orient for 10k but then rejoined Barnet back in 2006 as a player coach. Lee was appointed captain of Barnet back in 2007 but he left Barnet for a second time so Lee Harrison takes the number one spot between the sticks as my goalkeeper for Barnett's all-time 11. So now let's move on to right back. And again, I could say this for every position. We've had some great players in certain positions. But for me, going in at right back is Ian Hendon. Ian Hendon joined Barnet on a permanent deal from Peterborough United back in 2003. He made 143 appearances, scoring 20 goals between 2003 and 2009. Ian Hendon captain Barnet back in 2005 when we won the conference to get back into the Football League. Ian Hendon also had a spell as manager of Barnet between 2008 and 2010. So going in as my right back is Ian Hendon. Going in at left back is Robert Sawyers. Robert was born in Birmingham and started off at Wolves, but never made any first team appearances before moving down south to join up with Barnet back in 1997. Robert made 113 appearances, scoring five times between 1997 to 2002 before moving on to Hereford United. Robert linked up very well down that left hand side with Darren Curry. I do miss them days. So, one half of my centre back partnership is Mark Harbour. Mark originally joined Barnet on a loan deal back in 1998 from Tottenham. After he was released at the end of the season, he joined Barnet on a permanent deal. Mark went on to make 175 appearances, scoring 23 times between 1998 and 2002 before moving on to Peterborough United. And completing my back four and who I would make captain is Greg Held. Greg joined Barnet back in 1997 and made a fantastic partnership with Mark Arbour. Two leaders on that pitch, both strong in challenges, never took any crap. I used to love going over here and watching them two play. It was like watching Tony Adams and Steve Bold in Barnet shirts in Division 3. Look, a guy can dream, all right? Greg made a total of 202 appearances, scoring 20 times before leaving to go join Leighton Orient. Going in at right wing is Mark Gower. Joining from Tottenham, making 90 appearances, scoring 15 goals between 2001 and 2003, before moving on to Southend United and eventually Swansea playing in the Premiership. Another player that played for Barnet and was way too good for us and at that level and eventually did find his feet in the Premiership. He went the long way around it, but he got there eventually. He was too good for us and it was a great three years with us. And going in at left wing, I've already gave you a little sneak peek of who it is, linking up well. It is Darren Curry. Again, another player that was way too good for us and that level at the time as well. Darren joined from Plymouth Argyle, making 127 appearances, scoring 19 goals between 1998 and 2001 before moving on to Wickham Wanderers. And despite scoring 10 goals in the 2000-2001 season, Barnett unfortunately was relegated. Cheers, Tony Cotty. So going in at centre mid, one half of my partnership is Scouser John Doolan, joining Barnett back in 1998 from Mansfield Town, making 190. 99 appearances, scoring 13 times in all competitions between 1998 and 2003, before moving on to Doncaster Rovers, a tough tackling, took no shit, centre mid, the Division 3 of Roy Keane pretty much, back in the day when it was Division 3. And joining my midfield is Dean Sinclair, completing my midfield four, sitting next to John Doolan, centre mid. Dean joined from Norwich City back in 2004. He made 125 appearances, scoring 19 times between 2004 and 2007, before leaving to join Charlton Athletic. Dean did score in the cup tie between Manchester United at Old Trafford. We lost, but it's still an achievement, ain't it? Let's be honest. Dean scored 11 goals in his first season for Barnet to help us clinch promotion back into the Football League. Now, one half of my killer strike force is Giuliana Grazia joining in on a permanent deal back in 2003 from Bristol Rovers. Grazioli made 131 appearances, scoring 62 times between 2003 
in 2008. Who would have thought that this man would go on to be an absolute legend? Every fan loving him, having a bar named after him at the Hive, when back in 1998, when he played for Peterborough United, he stuck five past us, and we went on to lose that game 9-1. But we can forgive all that, because in his first season for Barnet, he was top goal scorer with 29 goals. Another one helping Barnet clinch promotion and completing my strike force. Now, let's be honest, we have been blessed with some fantastic strikers over the years. Dougie Friedman, Sean Devine, Scott McLeish. But let's be honest, I'd be absolutely mad if I did not pick John Akindi. Joining from Alfrington Tan in 2014, John has been in the Barnet team ever present. And to date, he has made 134 appearances and scoring 80 times. John Akindi is now Barnet's all-time league goal scorer, overtaking Sean Devine. John scored 31 times in his first season for Barnet. And John scored 23 goals in his second season for Barnet in League 2. So that's my 1-11. to And I know I have missed out some fantastic fantastic players and this was very hard for me to pick. I know I've left out players like Sam Stockley, Ishmael Yakubu, Nicky Bailey, Albert Adomia, Jason Punchin, Wayne Purser, Ben Strevens, Sean Devine, Scott McLeish, Graham Stack, Andy Yidham and Dougie Freeman and I'm sure there's many many more. And that's not to say that anyone in the current squad cannot become club legends. You just need to work a little bit harder. I'm joking. No, seriously, work harder. But that's my 1 to 11. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me, you disagree with me. Let me know your 1 to 11 Barnet team. Even if you don't support Barnet, what is your 1 to 11 on your team? So guys, that's all I've got for you at the moment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. Share this video with all your friends so they know what my 1 to 11 is. Until next time, I'll see you later.